video lecture today we will discuss how to draw a bending moment diagram for an arch so let us consider three inch arch let a b c be the points and here the total span is capital l and if if you want to find out the bending moment at a point d x distance from this point a and the vertical distance let be y d and these are the lots w1 w2 and w3 we are acting over this arch so first of all we have to consider this or that is equivalent b such that if this loads are acting over a beam how to draw a bmd diagram okay so if you want to find out the bending moment at this particular point d the value will be beam moments minus h into y beam moments means what are values of bending moment acting at this particular point minus this horizontal stress multiplied by this yd So let us take the situation. Uh, here, these loads are acting over a beam, and we have to first of all draw the beam moment diagram. That is, uh, for this W1, W2, and W3 loads, the bending moment diagram. After that, you have to consider the HY diagram. After you have to draw this, it's in the shape of an arch, and at the crown point, the bending moment will be zero. And if you want to find out the bending moment at a point D. the value will be the shaded for portion here this much is the value of point d okay so you have to subtract this much let us take this value is 30 and here the value is 20 so the value of bending moment at this particular point d will be 30 minus 20 equal to 10 okay this is the way for drawing the bending moment diagram for an arch let's you discuss a problem related with the bending moment diagram So please write down the question. A symmetric three-hindered parabolic arch of span 36 meter and a right 6 meter is subjected to a constant load of 120 kN at a point 12 meter from left support. Draw the bending moment diagram for the arch. So please listen here. So a three-hindered parabolic arch A, B, and C be the points and C be the crown points. And there is a 120 kN load is acting at a distance 12 meter from the support A. So the span is 36 meter, and the crown vertical crown distance is 6 meter. So in this question only to draw the diagram for this question and nothing else to find out. So if this 120 kN is acting, how the diagram is going to happen? For that we have to first of all find out the reactions, this B A and B B, and then horizontal thrust. So this my m equal to zero. Then we can take this b b in the anti-clockwise direction and this 120 in the clockwise direction. So finally we get b b equal to 40 kN. Then b a plus b b equals 120. If you substitute the value of b a equal to 80 kN. Then we have to take the moment about the point a, point c, that's crown point, either L S S or right R S S. We can take. So this my m c equal to zero in this case. We are going to consider L S S. So B A multiplied by A C that is in the clockwise direction and the rest of this H into six that is in the anti-clockwise direction. One twenty is also in the anti-clockwise direction. So finally you will get H equal that is horizontal thrust equal one twenty kilogram meter. So our next intention is to find out the bending moment diagram. For that uh, we have to consider this load is acting as Over this arch as a equivalent B. So if this uh, load that is here one B A is acting here, so what will be the moment for this 120 kN? It will be in this shape. That is B A value is 80, B A value is 80, and this distance is 12. So if we multiply this 80 with the 12, you will get the value of 960. Then You can directly draw the diagram that is this 960, a triangle shaped diagram you will get. After that, you have to consider this HY diagram. How you draw? The central hinge value, the central hinge value is going to be zero, but this ordinary distance that will be h multiplied by the crown distance, vertical crown distance. H value is 120. 120 multiplied by crown distance is six. So you will get 720. So with this, you have to draw the diagram, and the shaded portion will give the bending moment diagram for 
any part of the arch okay so this is the diagram for this respective question so with this we will wind up today's session thank you all